So at this point in time, I'm going to hand over uh, the presentation back to Darren, and hopefully some of you have been asking questions. Uh, Darren will now uh, answer some of those questions, and as, uh, as uh, Darren said earlier, you can always post your questions in the GoToWebinar or GoToMeeting uh, uh, platform, or you can just Twitter us. And obviously, you can always contact us uh, after the webinar if you have any further questions. Uh, Darren? Well, thank you, Ruben. I appreciate the, the information that you shared, and hopefully everyone uh, found some interest in there. Uh, one of the things I'd like to point out, uh, please remember to you can either send it via Twitter or a question uh, via the screen name that Ruben has posted there, the at sign K-M-E-V-O-W-E-B, or through the GoToMeetings platform in their question uh, segment that they make available to us. Um, no questions. That actually, oh wait, here comes one. Uh, one uh, main question is, will the PowerPoints be made available? The answer to that is yes. Uh, so will this audio recording. We will send out a follow-up email at the close of this uh, webinar with links to the audio and to the PowerPoint presentation. They'll be downloadable through Cologne Mesa and also through Evolution Points websites. Uh, one of the things I would like to point out as far as effectiveness if you can use a, an actual example, it wasn't directly from a trade show, but something that Dell has been experimenting in how to utilize Twitter. In the scope of their overall sales, it doesn't mount to much for them, but they've used Twitter to generate $3 million in revenue, uh, specifically tracked through, those, through their account that they use. What does it mean to Dell overall? I think it came out in the article, it was reading about $2 per Twitter feed. Uh, for Twitter person that they actually have that follows them, but the question is, is how do they average? How do they work on leveraging it? How does that increase their interaction with their clients? Um, and I think the more important note, and this is an article just from last month, that in the last six months they did a million dollars in revenue alone. And then when you think about what does that mean for you in your trade show booth, how can you translate that uh, to success for your company? Uh, question was just sent in here. Uh, if you don't have any social networking currently. What is the best way to get started? Uh, Ruben, would you like to start, take that question? Sure. Um, it really depends. Again, I think the best way to do it is to first define what you're trying to achieve. Like I said, it's all driven by the strategy. Um, the way to start, I always encourage people to, to take a look at your competitors because the way to start it is to look at what your, your direct competitors are doing and see and hopefully they will have some precedence on how to use social networking. I'm not saying that your competitors are better than you, but I think it's easier to learn from other people's mistakes and other people's successes. Um, I would definitely start. Uh, I'll definitely start by asking the question: You know, how, why you're doing it, uh, and what the achievement goal. Because once you have all that, and then uh, understanding the tools, you try to apply to it. Uh, like I said, the most common uh, social networking tools that most people use across the board is Facebook. Uh, MySpace, LinkedIn, and Twitter, obviously, which is why we spend so much time on it. Does that answer your question? I, I think so. The only piece I would uh, add to that, since Columbus specializes in international events, is to then think what audience you're trying to reach. If you're mm -hmm. going to one of our trade shows that are based in Cologne, Germany, you might then look at some of the other alternatives that uh, Ruben had posted earlier in the presentation for social networks that are larger within the within that country in a particular target market. So, any other uh, questions here? Just check on the Twitter feed and we'll see if anyone else has anything they'd like to ask. 